Greetings from Bagram Airfield. This is your AFN Afghanistan Free to Watch update. I'm Marine Corporal Benjamin Harris. Not everyone is afforded the opportunity to get an education in Afghanistan, partly because there aren't enough buildings to facilitate a community's needs. Lance Corporal Clayton Rogers takes us to Ghazni Province, where coalition forces reopened the doors of 29 schools the Taliban shut down. About four years ago, the Taliban moved into the Andar district and closed down most of the schools. They kept a few open that they regularly visited and controlled its content. Now the coalition has the upper hand, these schools have been reopened for the first time in years. Major Mike Tucker, and our civil affairs team leader, said his team is there to support the government in their effort to renovate. We've been supporting the education system with small projects. For example, uh, we purchased 300 chalkboards, we've delivered tents for their classrooms, and in the building behind me we're paying for some plastering, painting, and some glass work. Even with the renovations and security the coalition can offer right now, could there still be room for Taliban influence? The director of education in the Andar district isn't worried. He said the population is more concerned with school and less concerned with the Taliban. Most of the young generation value education. They're not afraid of the Taliban because they want to learn, be educated, and help their country. Jobs, country, job. <laughs> the people's determination to keep these schools open and free of outside influence was the driving force that brought the coalition to its aid. The kids want to go to school, the villagers want their kids to go to school, the teachers want to teach. The bottom line is that Afghanistan wants a brighter future for itself. We're just here to help. Reporting from Ghazni Province in the Andar District, I'm Lance Corporal Clayton Rogers.